Today we're gonna take a look at some of the latest add-ons and updates published by the Blender community. These add-ons will range from visual effects, lighting, rigging, and much more. Before we start, I wanted to let you guys know that the Blender market is having now a huge sale. So if you want to get the best add-ons and assets that you wanted to put your hands on at a lower price, this is your chance to do so. Also in the description of this video, you will find a list of the best add-ons available on the market. We're gonna start with Condensation Generator. It is an add-on that helps to create droplet condensation effects on cold surfaces like a soda can or a cup of cold drink. With a few clicks, you can create realistic non-overlapping droplets to save time and give your object a realistic look. You can also tweak the result using the controls the add-on offers, and you can do that in the add-on windows like adjusting the droplet size, distribution, and so on. But you can also use a white map to specify the areas of your object where you want the condensation to take place. You can also use the weight map to determine different droplet sizes across your surfaces. We have Easy Holographic Add-on. It is basically a collection of holographic shaders which help you quickly apply holographic effects on any object in your scene. The add-on has a lot of control over the look and colors of the shader that you can customize to your use case, but you also have a long list of presets that you can choose from. Now, talking about sci-fi, Cuber is an add-on that allows you to generate procedural details on your surfaces, mainly small cube formations, to make your objects look more intricate. All you need to do to use Cuber is to select any object or surface and click Cuber it. You have an extremely high level of control over the formation and distribution of the details, and it is non-destructive so that you can go in and change settings anytime you want. When it comes to rendering, we have Wireframe Render, which is a simple add-on that helps you showcase the renders with topology layered on top. Developed by Xane Graphics, the developer behind add-ons like Rabbit and Close in Motion. The add-on allows you to render out a transparent PNG sequence of your scene as a wireframe like a wireframe pass. You can then overlay it on top of the render footage, and this would prove extremely helpful in a motion graphics project. Or if you want to showcase your project, and give behind the scene view of topology. With more free add-ons, we have Bagapi, which is an all-in-one free add-on for Blender to take advantage of some of the amazing features it provides, especially with the introduction of geometry nodes. Bagapi now offers a lot of tools like parametric presets, scattering tools, random arrays, and much more. Now we have version 7, accompanied by Bagapai Assets, which is fully integrated into the workflow, but it only works with Blender 3.0, 3.1, and 3.2. You can access Bagapai through the Pi menu hotkey J, or the M panel. Once there, you can do a lot of things. For example, you can run non-destructive boolean operations, but you can also do a lot of other things such as adding displacement, easily creating arrays, grouping objects together, saving assets and materials, generating handrails, walls, and windows. Also, you have fully customizable pipe by Ivy Generator and a lot more. Now, talking about rigging, Rigging Car is a Blender add-on that helps you create realistic vehicle animation without the need to set up the rig and bones. The add-on is extremely easy to use. You can just select your car model and click Rigging Car. This will parent your car to a path, select the body of the vehicle, and put it in the correct orientation. Then select the wheels and adjust their distance from each other using the given controls. These settings are all non-destructive, because you can adjust them anytime you want. Now all you need to do is animate the start and the ending point, and you are done with your animation. You can also change the path easily by selecting different paths. In addition, you can control how low the car will tilt from side to side or lean forward or backward, as well as wheel spin, steering, and banking are all automated. Furthermore, you can add dampers, which makes the car realistically react to the changes in the terrain on the surface or on the road, and a lot more. If you want to create vast and open door scenes, Planet Set is an amazing add-on that helps you create different planetary scale environments with whole-scale atmosphere and clouds. 
Furthermore, it allows you to create huge bodies of water and a robust asset scattering system that can help you do a lot of things. Also, the add-on offers a lot of features such as different terrain types, full-scale atmosphere and clouds, which has a lot of customization to create realistic cumulus, stratus or cirrus clouds. The world creation also has a lot of terrain modifier presets with different parameters. For example, we have noise terrain or the more realistic power noise terrain which allows you to create mountains and valleys in addition to many other types as well as the ability to import height and elevation data from other software. Talking about generating buildings, Buildify is an amazing free add-on that allows you to procedurally generate buildings leveraging the power of geometry nodes in Blender. The add-on is extremely versatile and can work seamlessly with Blender OSM add-on by using geometric data to generate buildings and city blocks. Another great usage of Buildify is that you can use any assets to drive the generating process so you can grab for example assets from Megascans or create them yourself and you can use the add-on to populate your buildings in the same way. Just remember to put all the modules in one collection. Next we have Curves to Roads. It is a geometry nodes generator created by Ben. It allows you to transform curves into roads, which saves you so much time. The way it works is, it allows you to draw paths or use splines anywhere you want and the road will follow the path. The generated roads contain high quality textures, street lights, railing on the side of the road and rocks. You can also have a long list of parameters that you can tweak to adjust the look of your roads. For example, you can easily adjust the road size and road materials, but you can also control the spline resolution and adjust the railing width, height, materials and so on. You also have light post settings, rocks collections, scale and so much more. When it comes to natural scenes and vegetation, we have an add-on called Alpha Trees. Alpha Trees is an add-on developed by Strike Digital. It allows you to render massive nature scenes in a fraction of the time needed. 3D tree models are usually extremely heavy and slow due to the millions of polygons they have and multiple materials which wouldn't be a problem if you need few scenes. But trying to scatter a lot of them will require exponentially huge amounts of processing power and a lot of memory. Alpha Trees is a huge library of flat PNG tree cards that can help you speed up the rendering and lower memory usage because each tree has only 4 vertices and they look just as good as a real 3D model. You also have full control over their scatter as the add-on has powerful scattering system built on geometry nodes to control density, scale, rotation, randomness and even wind animation. The add-on is also fully compatible with the powerful Scatter 5 add-on with 28 pre-made biomes that can cover any scattering or distribution needs. But wait, there is more. Each tree material can be further customized, allowing you for another layer of control over the color, randomness, translucency, number of dead leaves, trunk color, or the amount of snow laying on it. The whole library is composed of roughly 150 built-in trees, and you can even use the add-on to convert any 3D tree to an alpha tree in just few steps because the add-on will automatically render the color, normals, shadows, and mask passes, and then combine them into an alpha tree that you can use later. Around the same topic, we have Terrainscapes 2, which is an add-on for Blender developed by Contrast Render. It is basically a library of tools and assets which enables you to create stunning landscapes and scenes in addition to backgrounds in a very short period of time. The add-on allows you to work with the asset browser and comes with a couple of shader nodes that allow you to tweak the look of the terrains like vegetation, snow, in addition to rocks, and by the way, it is extremely easy to use and offers a free limited version if you want to try the add-on for yourself. The add-on also gives you the ability to add procedurally and fully animated sky for fast outdoor lighting as well as 35 pre-made setups and the great thing is, it supports both Cycles and Eevee. Furthermore, the add-on comes packed with a couple of water assets to help you achieve realistic water in your scenes like water caustic, volume and waves. Now, talking about dynamics and destruction effects, we have an update for ABD Lab, which is one of the best add-ons for Blender to create realistic and hyper-detailed destruction animations in just a short period of time. With the new update, it has a lot of new and exciting features, such as multi-groups constraints, the ability to create clusters, target adjacent constraints, and of course huge improvements in terms of performance and optimization. 
You can now fade the animation in and out using the new initial velocity controls, which you can use to control both particles direction and rotation. RBD Lab is slowly becoming one of the best VFX add-ons for Blender, and it is definitely getting better and better. If you are interested in one of these add-ons, you will find the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.